Welcome back to the Community Spotlight. Today we're taking a look at the SM79 by N7. Let's get started. All right, so I have tried to go ahead and do a Community Spotlight on this plane before, but it didn't work for me. And I don't know if it was me, but I really, 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 really wanted to get this on video because it's a beautiful plane. Love the camouflage. And, uh, and look at this engine. doesn't look amazing with the blocks going inward like that to give the... Uh, the nose of the plane, the cowling, that look and feel of the real plane. Love it. So this is a three prop plane. So let's go ahead and see if we can get inside. Uh, is there a thing in the back? Yes, there is. All right, so when I last tried to use this plane, for some reason, I could not get, oops, I get in. I could not get the engine started. There's the bombs. It says N7. All right, nice. So let's go ahead and get over here. He's using the actual uh, hottest seats. Looking nice. All right, so let's see if we can figure out how to get this on. Um, on is there, but I don't remember having this trouble before. Where's the uh, on and off switch? Those are bomb sites. Okay, um, hmm. Did I do this last time? Okay, gun sight, gun sight. Okay, I, I don't know why we're not turning on things here. Let's go ahead and hit one. I think that was the wheels. <laughs> oh, crap. All right, let's go back up. All right, so number Oh. Oh, oh, oh yeah, we broke it. All right, let's, let's take a quick peek inside and see if we can find some buttons. Now, this was the latest version that he sent me in a personal message. And I don't see any way. Wait, let's see the engines. Engine goes to on off. Oh, there's buttons up there? No, it's a hottest seat. Number two, pilot. okay. All right, so let's try again. Apparently, there is nothing uh, marked or labeled on the seat. So let's, number one was landing gear. Let's try number two. Nothing for number two. Number three. All right. All right, throttle is... All right, we're gonna, it's working. All right, come on up, go up, go up, go up. All right, number one to get the landing gear up. It's looking lovely. Look at that nice slow landing gear. It's flying really nice, even though the wheels have had some buggy issues where they throw off the balance of the plane. This one is looking very stable. Actually, I'm not even touching the elevator. So very nice. All right, let's see if we can drop the bomb. I'm gonna go ahead and try to level that a little bit. And let's go in, oh, let's go in the back seat here. Um, maybe not. Maybe this is not a gun. Wait. Um, what is this? I'm not too sure where that camera is. Or this camera. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, again, things aren't labeled here, so I don't know what is going on here. <laughs> but it is a beautiful plane. Uh, you can't actually download this. He has not uploaded this to the workshop. I think he's still working on it. But uh, nevertheless, I will go ahead and update the description below when he actually makes this available. It flies really stable. I don't know if he has a gyro in here, but it is looking really good. All right, so this is the first plane by N7. We're going to take a look at a second submission that he did, and uh, let's get to it. All right, so because I was having so much trouble with that first beautiful plane, the SM79, uh, he went ahead and submitted a second vehicle in place of that one, in case I couldn't get it to fly. But I did. But we're going to go ahead and still take a look at this one, since we have it available. And this is the MLAF HKP130C6 Krelia. Whew. And it has a lot of artwork as well. Look at that. How pretty. We've got a nice little octopus thing there. And i uh, not sure what that logo is. And then, of course, we've got uh, warning labels here. So we are going to go ahead and try to fly this helicopter because that's what we do. So let's go ahead and get in. Okay, we have a door there. Let's see what else we have here. We have another door. Oh, it's a nice sliding door, isn't it? And let's go on the other side and see what they have. We have another sliding door, I assume. Yes, we do. And we have another opening door here. All right, looking good. Okay, let's go ahead and get in from this side and shut the door. 
And let's look at the cockpit. Oh dear, there's a lot of stuff going on here, which is always dangerous for me. Um, seat belts. Ah, that's funny. I like that. Okay, let's see here. We have the fuel valve. That's probably useful. We have turn on lander mode. Turn on alt hold. Alt hold, alt hold, alt hold. Whatever, you know what I mean. Reset lander. Compressor. Compressor? Is this a jet engine in there? Probably so. All right, we're probably going to need that. Switch control seat. Auto hold, auto GPS nav. Okay, let's try the nav lights because I like those. All right, heater. Mags. Mags? What's that for? Is that like outside? Don't know. All right, let's do that alone. Interior lights and refuel pump. I don't need that or that. Okay. Hmm. Throttle. Okay. If we look at our pilot seat, we have up, down, altitude. One door is, or one and two are left door, right door. Three headlights. Oh, let's turn on the headlights. Let's see that. Oh, very cool. And then we have outside lighting. Four. Wait, right, where is it at? Is there more that I'm not seeing? I can't tell. And smoke tanks. Smoke tanks? What are smoke tanks? I don't know what that is. Hmm, I don't know. Didn't do anything when I pushed it. But let's go ahead and try to uh, get it moving. Now, is this hooked to the throttle? No, it's not. So the throttle lever is separate from the out, up down altitude. Okay, so let me just try to fly it. See, these controls I have trouble with when I'm trying to do cockpit controls versus the arrow keys. I always like to have everything on the pilot seat so I can actually <laughs> concentrate on trying not to crash. Alright, let's see here. Not too sure how to get the thing moving here. Okay, I'm doing the arrow key carefully. Alright, not really going anywhere. Let's try again. Nope, nothing yet. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay, alright, we're moving. That's good. Come on, come on. Oh, we're stuck on up. Can I go up a little bit? Oh, I'm stuck. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Alright, now let's go up. Arrow key. Arrow key. Hmm. All right, well, I'm going to hit the gas a little bit more. See if that gets it going up. And I'm hitting the arrow key, and it's not working. All right, so I'm not going to lie. I have a lot of trouble with N7's control schemes because I have a certain way of hooking things up, and when they don't do that, I get really lost. So I would assume that the up and down arrow would get it moving upwards, but that's not working. And then the W key does kind of press it forward, right? So it's getting the uh, the pitch working. If I go S doesn't do anything. Left and right, nothing. Left and right arrows, mm, well, spin it, okay. But up, the up is not working. Not working, okay. So what can we do? Well, we can cheat and maybe do an altitude thing. Where's the altitude thing? Altitude, yeah, let's do that. All right, so we're going to go and go 100 and hit there. And where is our altitude hold button? Turn on land mode. Alt hold. Okay, let's do that. There we go. So apparently I can drive this thing or fly this thing with automatic control. Why is it going backwards? That's weird. Okay, kind of difficult for him to fly. Okay, let's see if we can get the... All right, let's... where am I at? All right, we're going to fly over to here. All right. Oh, we don't crash first. Don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. Okay, let me get back in here and put this in. Whoop. Put this in. Go. Okay, good. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where's my autopilot? Autopilot? Altitude hold is here. Wait, what? Oh, GPS. Oh! Crap. All right, all right, so that didn't end well. Let's see what we can do here. Right, let's go ahead and try one more time. Let's put the altitude to, I don't know, five, and hit it. No? Is that too low? Okay, let's do 10. Aha! Uh -huh. All right, yes, I'm, I'm cheating by flying an altitude hold, but I couldn't get it to move forward, so there we go. All right. Oh, oh, it likes to go backwards. I don't know why, but it does like to go backwards. Uh-oh. All right, all right. I need to do this fast. Ready? Change this to 200. 
Go! Oh, alright. So again, it's trying to go backwards. Let's go ahead and see if we can enter the GPS back in. There we go. And then... Oh! No, 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 why is there two altitude holds? I'm confused by that. All right, well, let's do this one. Auto GPS. And see if it's working. All right, it's trying to go forward. And... No. <laughs> no. <sighs> All right, well... All right, Win7, I, I can't fly your stuff. I, I, I don't know how. I need instructions. Like a big long list of instructions apparently all right well this was the Krelia by n7 I'm probably saying that wrong Krelia Krelia looks like Krelia to me and uh it's a little difficult for me to fly so i'll probably have to take uh flying lessons from n7 on both these vehicles on how to drop bombs and how to fly the helicopter properly so for now go ahead and hit the bell so it goes ding dong when i upload a new video and if you haven't subscribed already please consider doing so and i will see you next time <laughs>